Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Zach with Zach Attack Cards. And I'm pretty excited to be bringing you an opening of the brand new trading card game by Panini, NFL 5. So this just released in stores. And I was able to grab myself a starter deck and I grabbed 10 booster packs so we can kind of see what's in this and see what the cards look like and maybe understand at least the beginning mechanics of the game. Uh, as I've told you guys before, I'm a huge fan of trading card games, uh, going all the way back to the showdown era of baseball, football, basketball, and now uh, if you've been watching my Monday Night Football Card Showdown series, which I'll link in the cards, I am also opening some Adrenaline Packs, which was Panini's, I don't want to say it was necessarily their first attempt at a football trading card game. Um, but it definitely seemed like their best attempt. So I mean, those cards look pretty cool. So uh, I'm interested to learn how to play that game and definitely interested to learn how to play this game. So let me know if this is something you guys are going to pick up or what you guys think of it. As I said, this is something that really helps with my, really helps with my anxiety and obsessive compulsive disorder. And it, it just, it really calms me down to learn games and stuff. So here's our packet of cards, I guess. Here's our rule book for NFL 5. Won't bore you by going through the finer details as looks like it's actually a relatively thick rule book. And this must be probably the game uh, map or what have you. Play mat. Uh, yep, yeah, looks like a play mat. So, probably trying to figure out how to play it offline, but. You guys can let me know down in the comments if it's a game that you plan on playing or you've already begun playing. And without further ado, let's see what we got here. So I don't know if the foils are randomized in this. Because I believe you get a you say you get a 55 card starter deck. Uh, tournament ready 50 card deck with five bonus foils. So I'm guessing your deck tends to be 50 cards. Let's just get rid of the box. So it's just probably like plays and such. So yeah, that, that's kind of reminding me of like the old school NFL showdown with the the card reader that never worked quite right until they came out with the, the black and white cards that it could actually read. Oh, now we're getting into some of the players. So let's see, we got big boy Nick Bosa. There's Devin McCourty. There's a... Another uh, power up or something like that. Fletcher Cox. Some kind of playbook upgrade. There's Run CMC. More play cards. More, I guess, action cards. Quite a few of those. I, I guess I'm guessing you probably only need a few players if I'm really thinking about it. This could be very well be one of those games where majority of everything that gets done really comes from these play cards and stuff. Darren Waller is actually my tight end in one fantasy league. More plays and power-ups. Fred Warner, excellent linebacker for San Fran. They got New Hopkins. Still got, what, half his suspension left. Also grabbed him in fantasy. I think he was an excellent late round pickup when it came to fantasy because he could definitely be a guy who helps you win your league if you're able to kind of hang in there until he comes back. Hunter Renfro. There's big a Raj, Aaron Rodgers. Guess he's my quarterback, the only one I've seen so far. Buda Baker. Of course, maybe you only need, maybe you need more than one quarterback. Who knows? I have to read through that rule book and see what uh-huh, so here's our foil cards. So there's a foil play card. That's interesting. We got Legerious Sneed. Safety foil. Got another one of the play cards or whatever. Or in, uh, in a rule book upgrade. And a play card foil. Okay, so the foils were relatively underwhelming with just a single player. Uh, but a pretty good player. I mean, Legereus Sneed, I guess that top number is maybe how good he is. He's, he's only an 81 versus 
You know, like Buda Bakers in 93. And game markers. Okay, so similar to, I don't know if you guys play like Pokemon and stuff like that. Just game markers to mark statuses and stuff like that. So, all right, well, let's rip into the packs. Like I said, I grabbed 10 packs just to see what kind of spread there is for foils and stuff like that. Not sure if there'll be a foil slash holographic, whatever you want to call it, in every pack or or what. Jared Goff. We got Cameron Hayward. Or Hayward, I mean. Marcus Peters. Excellent. We have a Synergy Lions card. I'm guessing that's one of those. Chase Young. A New Orleans Saints Synergy. A synergy for the Seahawks. Justin Fields, all right, that's really cool. And Chris Carter, the legend card, look at that, a 99. So that's gotta be the big pull of that pack. And I'm guessing this is like a little tip card, like you would get in other TCGs. So no foil, but definitely the legend Chris Carter standing out in that pack. Cam Jordan, Hunter Henry, Quandre Diggs, Derek Brown, we have a play card. There's big boy Zeke. Probably pretty generous giving him a 90. Mike Evans, also one of my guys in fantasy. Although not helping me this week with his suspension. Joey Bosa. And Pittsburgh Synergy. Alright, so. I don't think anything really special in that, although definitely a few higher rated cards in the 90s. Jonathan Abram starts us off. James Conner. Miles Sanders. Another fantasy running back of mine. I think he's my third running back. Offensive guard, Zach Martin. Awesome. Definitely awesome. Synergy Dolphins. Derek Carr. Synergy Saints, and a legend, Randall Cunningham, 98. That's awesome. I guess the legends all seem to have some, uh, well, I guess even the standard cards have some sort of value or, or, or play to them down here on the bottom. If the last play was stopped, the play gains 20 fewer yards. There's Zach Wilson, very nice. Jameis Winston, Devin McCourty, Nick Bosa, Synergy Colts, there's Kirk Cousins, Big A Raj again, and finishing on Miles Garrett, who seems to be in whatever L2. I don't know if these are the numbers or what they are, but again, something else to kind of figure out as we. Start playing the game and figuring out the mechanics. But the cards look really awesome, that's for sure. I'm pretty, pretty excited for that. Synergy for the Texans. We got Jamal Adams, Jordan Poyer, All Out Blitz, Ryan Tannehill, another, I think that's my third, Nick Bosa. More synergies for the Colts and the Raiders. And our first rookie, Chris Olave, for the Saints. I believe this is really not the set to buy if you're rookie hunting, by the way, because I believe, does it say it on here? There's only like 18, yeah, right up here. If you can kind of focus on that, 18 rookies out of the entire set, which is uh, 234 cards. So that's a pretty small percentage of rookies. And I don't think any came in the starter deck, although, once again, not sure if they're uh, the same in every box or if they they get a little bit different. Jalen Waddell, George Kittle, Elijah Moore, AJ Terrell, Playoff Atmosphere, Vita Vea, Nick Chubb, been one of my beasts for fantasy. And we have Commanders and Eagles Synergy. So by the time we're all done, we're probably going to have all the Synergy cards. And probably multi-copies of each. But those seem to come hot and heavy in these packs. Fred Warner. Christian Kirk. Surprisingly good fantasy pickup. Derwin James. 
Chris Godwin. Synergy for the Falcons. Stephon Diggs. There's another play. Synergy Packers. And we got our first hollow pull. And it's a Neon Dion Sanders legend card. While well, he was on Atlanta. All right, I mean, don't get me wrong. If it was a Dallas card, obviously, I'd be a lot more excited. But that is a, that is a great holographic. Neon Dion, prime time. And guy had more nicknames, I swear. But man, was he, he was just a great player. Kenny Galladay, J.J. Watt. Got ourselves a play. Drew Locke. Another play. Matt Ryan. Another play thing. Kyler Murray. And Jamar Chase. Very nice. Very nice. So a bunch of quarterbacks in that pack. Two more packs to go. And we start off with Chitabe Awuzie. There's a former Cowboy. Synergy for the Bears. Synergy for the Broncos. Patrick Sertain. James Robinson. Get another play card. There's Tank Lawrence from my Dallas Cowboys. Mental Fortitude. And finishing on Dak Prescott. All right. Get healthy soon, man. Team needs you. And last pack. Let's see if we can get some of that LPM. Miles Sanders, Jeff Okuda, Zach Martin. I think we've seen some of these. Sam Darnold, Demario Davis, Kyler Murray. There's a play. Darius Leonard. And we get a legend, Jason Witten. What a card to finish on. A legend Dallas Cowboy. That is awesome. I mean, non-hollow, but I will absolutely take that. So, there you go. Just one rookie in all those packs, which uh, was about 90 cards. It was 90 cards because it was 9 cards per pack, and I got 10 packs. Just one hollow. So, that you know, take that for what you will. Maybe it was just bad luck on my part. But, um, yeah, I, I think it's going to be a pretty fun game. Hopefully it sticks around for a little while. I know the the cross section between TCGs and sports isn't necessarily the the widest, but um, maybe it'll find its little niche and take hold, you know, at least for a couple of years. And uh, I, I can tell you for for my part, I'm going to be checking into it, seeing how to play it, and you know, seeing just how fun it is. But you let me know in the comments down below what you think. If you're going to pick it up or if you've already picked it up, like I said, if you're already playing it, let me know if you got any tips. I'd love to hear them. And if you like this kind of thing, definitely drop me a like, drop me a subscribe, and I'll be certain to bring more of it to you. With that said, that's it for me. I'll get you guys out of here quickly, a little under 15 minutes, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.